Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Wednesday, 13th of October 2021. So, stocks uh, stink as curve pancakes on stagflation fears continue, and another ugly day on the market, but they still won't let it uh, fall. And finally, some truth from the Fed. Uh, uh, Bostic finally admits inflation is not transitory and it's getting worse. Well, what a surprise. It's becoming increasingly clear that the uh, feature of uh, this episode that has animated prices, uh, price pressures, mainly the intense and widespread supply chain disruptions, will not be brief. No, they certainly won't uh, going into this winter. Uh, news for today, CPI today, I uh, spoke about this uh, yesterday. That's the main news event of the day. We've also got uh, the FOMC meeting minutes, not a news conference on this one at uh, 7 p.m. as well. And then Brainard's going to speak after this announcement at 9.30 p.m. So let's have a look at the Dow for yesterday. Uh, we can see we've got some uh, buying pressure coming into the market here as uh, prices hold at the 50% retracement and they're back up on uh, the overnight here. In the 30 minute chart, you can see that uh, we started off with a lot of volatility. The market was brought back uh, 89% before it was then sent to the downside where the market now has got a 78% uh, retracement and attempting to get back above the DP there. In the German DAX, similar picture. Again, you can see the buying coming into the market here. However, on this one, if we just uh, from this low to here, you'll see again the market back at 50% with the uh, buying there and again trying to move the market to the upside. 89% needs to be taken out, as does the 20 bar moving average. So that's where we are on the downside. And in the 30 minute chart, you can see yesterday morning. Uh, the market moving sharply to the upside after the futures market uh, was down and then just traded uh, sideways uh, during the Dow session and then moving up overnight uh, above the DP unlike the Dow as uh, the Dow moves to the upside as well. Overnight, uh, let's have a look at a bit more detail. Uh, we can see that uh, the DAX is not doing a great deal. You can see it's managed to move up off the close in the 200 MA and close to uh, yesterday's high at the moment but uh, again it's under a lot of pressure but they just won't let it uh, move to the downside in the silver market uh, you can see this uh, moving back to the upside we've got a bit of a coiling going on here at the moment uh, we can see the markets coiling in a sideways move hopefully it will be moving in this direction when it breaks if not we could get uh, the shakeout down to uh, 89 and the 78 area before moving up uh, but at the moment it seems to be holding well as does gold uh, not uh, moving as much though on the overnight as you can see there but the dollar is reversing off yesterday where the market double topped at uh, 94.48 and we've got some selling coming into the market uh, on yesterday's uh, bar there and let's just have a quick look and see where we were yesterday with silver. Uh, the market had a, its a classic shakeout at uh, 1 p.m. And then they brought the market back and then it came back again. But uh, managing to move on the upside overnight, uh, we'll need to take out uh, yesterday's uh, high in order to move back to the upside. But holding at uh, the 22 uh, uh, 50 level there at the moment. We need to break that 23 level uh, to move higher. Yesterday in the DAX, uh, let's just uh, fast forward through this. Uh, we can see that the uh, so the futures market kicked in, sending prices lower. You can see the buying coming into the market here as we held at the S1. And then prices uh, retesting this level, trading sideways, retesting again, moving a bit lower, shakeout. Because what they wanted to do was this. You can see uh, the volume already coming into the market and building. So it looks like let's get everybody short. They'll think it's going down and then whoosh. Uh, we move to the upside and uh, we trade straight back up to the previous day's low and uh, managed to pick up uh, a quick uh, 30, 40 point, uh, 39 points there. Uh, in uh, this trade as the market then uh, retraces and then trades back and gets stuck in a sideways move. As I said yesterday, the market's waiting for the CPI figures. We did have uh, a sell, but this uh, didn't hold that well, as you'll see in a moment, uh, the market coming down to the scalp. 
and now you can see the volume here is the same as the previous bar and it's starting to make its way back to the upside so alerted to the fact that uh, we could see and again in this next bar as well that we could see a bit of a bounce uh, from this level uh, we they say well I'll tell you what let's just test it see uh, this is what they'll do they'll run the market down test it and you'll see the volume there pick up any sort of sell orders or orders that are around here in this level and then bring the market back so as soon as they did this uh, it was out for me and then uh, we had a potential buy signal and uh, I again jumped to ship on this one it wasn't making any progress plus we got uh, news coming up uh, shortly so we're out of this one and then uh, the market of course once uh, it had come back then uh, went through before the news which is a shame but not to worry it was only a few points uh, loss then we had the news uh, then that was the morning session over in the market it was just trading sideways in a range uh, which you can see there and then we kicked off for the afternoon uh, the market sideways uh, filling on the buy side there and then reversing for a 16 point loss as the sell side was uh, filled uh, the loss is made up at this point but uh, again I wasn't out at this point uh, should have done really as we got news uh, and then got out uh, just as it started to come back for nine points so just six points short in the afternoon session then we had the news um, more potential signals but the market was just very choppy and sideways and then further news in the afternoon from uh, uh, was it Brainard or whatever it was that spoke can't remember but uh, where the session was done by this uh, time so yeah good day uh, for a directionless market so uh, not too bad the volatility is quite nice at the moment there is uh, once the market moves it's it's quite uh, you get some decent moves but uh, when it's sideways it's certainly sideways uh, too okay that will do it for this one uh, I can say FOMC CPI 130 so that will be very interesting for the metals markets we'll see what happens then as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.